The skyline of many cities are covered in them. They're known as boom-type cranes, and you couldn't build a skyscraper without them. Nowhere is this more so than when you're building a power plant with 90-meter-high chimneys. This is Europe's biggest mobile crane, and it can reach over 200 meters high. The enormous chimneys are brought to the site by trucks and prepared. They're put to one side, creating a space big enough for the enormous crane's arrival. And here it is. This crane is so big, it's a major construction project in itself. The first step is getting the base into position. The cellar beneath the crane must be reinforced to take its weight. If it collapsed, the consequences would be disastrous. The guides then use spray paint markings to line the crane up perfectly. Constructing the crane alone takes three days, and the next morning the hydraulic supports arrive. They're carefully lifted into place, and the workers make absolutely certain their toes aren't in the way when they're put down. With the base now in place and firmly supported, work can begin to erect the crane itself. First comes the ballast to help balance the structure. The crane uses 12 slabs in total, weighing a massive 206 tons. Next comes the massive crane's frame structure. Steel pins weighing 36 kilos each hold the individual sections together. Slowly, the recognizable shape of the boom begins to take form. The crane is so large, ordinary cranes are used to hold up the towering framework. The next stage requires great care. Because it must reach high enough to maneuver the chimney, the crane must be very long. As it's raised, one arm extends into any available space, in this case, directly over a busy road. But there's a deadline to be met, so construction must continue. Each section is put in place whilst workers watch out for the traffic below. But who is watching the workers up here? For now, there's not much for the rig's operator to do. While he waits for the crane to be put together, he makes tiny adjustments to the crane's position, whilst his colleagues are hammering 36 kilo pins over moving buses. With the framework complete, a handy weather vane is included to indicate wind speed to the crane's operators. It also has a flashing light which acts as a navigation aid and obstacle warning for pilots. Finally, the pulley and winch mechanism are threaded up. The cable alone for this enormous hook is 900 meters long and weighs a massive 7 tons. It's a tough job, and fingers can get crushed if accidentally trapped in the mechanism. Finally, the driver gets some action in his day. With everything in place, he can now carefully raise the crane, in readiness for tomorrow's big job. Put it all together, this enormous crane has needed 13 truckloads of equipment and spare parts and three whole days. With the huge crane now constructed, work on the power plant project can now begin. Reaching over 200 meters in the air, it dwarfs any crane around it. However, jobs this size are a team effort, and the smaller cranes are still important. Weighing in at 90 tons, the chimney is a large object to maneuver safely. Because it's so long and must be positioned with millimeter-perfect precision, the wind factor is a real worry. The crane operator has a key role in the job. Today, he is responsible for maneuvering the chimney. Before it's moved, it must be prepared. The driver raises it from its temporary stand to a height where workers can make any last-minute repairs or necessary changes. 
and when the foreman gives the word, the massive crane is put to work. No, it's not a bird or a plane, this is a power plant chimney over 100 meters up in the air. Joking aside, this is a very serious job and safety is paramount. The enormous smokestack is lowered into position to the crane operator's obvious relief. Without his skill and the sheer scale of the crane, jobs as big as this just wouldn't be possible.